It's a wet day in Hampshire at a glorious friends and family shoot that happens four days a season. So how does the Popham shoot come together? Let's meet the keeper. I keep it for here and another shoot in Overton, so yeah, it's pretty much full time now. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> that was spectacular. <laughs> great. Thank you. <laughs> it's for um, family. Uh, it's guest invite only here, so it's really just to put on the best day we can get for all the four days here. Um, put a lot more cover in, which is which has boosted the place. When I first started, there were little tiny strips, and they listened to me. So we've got these nice big blocks of cover now, and it holds the birds up because this place has got its own weather system, so it'll just turn on its turn on its head here. Well, as it um, did today. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, didn't we? Yeah, and it'll just. I mean, we've had sideways hail up here. It's crazy. But to hold the birds on this place, you've got to have a lot of cover. First drive, the Elms, is the shoot's signature drive. Two patches of maize and a natural dip give the birds altitude. Family member with special responsibility for the shoot is John Roll Pickering, who wrote the guide on our website to going shooting for the first time. Okay. We've got about 600 acres here. My grandfather bought the land in the 1930s, and we've shot here ever since. Now we shoot both pheasants and partridges. Uh, we don't have specific partridge or pheasant drives. They're mixed, which makes it all the more exciting for our guests. We shoot on four days a year, and on top of that, the keeper has a day for his team. Uh, we find it very friendly. It's, it is a family shoot, so all the guns are guests. And I'm very proud of the fact that uh, at least uh, one gun who's here today and two sons of another gun who's here today fired their first shots at game on the shoot. Here we've got 10 guns. The shooting and picking up team here is 20 strong today. Uh, and there's almost as many beaters out as well, so it provides a great event for the neighbourhood. We hope to shoot uh, probably today somewhere between 100 and 150 birds. We don't sell game, but we do uh, support the British Game Alliance, so I hope that we're doing the right thing. We eat it ourselves and we give it up to our friends. Okay. My, my freezer gets very seriously overstocked. The second drive has good cover crops and at least three of the guns get little warning about what's coming their way. An exposed shoot like this is at the mercy of wind, which can come from any direction. It's also a mature shoot, which does not make it easy for Ben, as the drives are set up to be shot in a certain way. you kind of got to bite your teeth and go with it and, and just hope everything goes to plan, um, which it seems to have so far. I mean, the last drive we did, I thought, with the wind cutting across like it did, that it was going to, you know, not be so good, but yeah, they were some stonkers out of there. The shoot is next to the Steventon shoot, which we covered a few weeks ago, but higher up the hill and more likely to get stormy weather. Cover crops are an important part of holding birds. Ben explains what he does. We've got canary grass up on the top there. We put that in um, basically as a wind block for that last drive we did. Uh, we planted trees in there as well two years back. Most of the main cover crops on here are maize. The wild bird mixes we do, we put in two plots on the farm. Um, that's how I like it. <laughs> it, it. It dries better with maize. You, you can work the birds with maize better. I also put in artichokes. Second year I was here uh, and put them in by hand. Got them to plough it up. And there, there's two spots on here that are really quite in the wind. And um, I just put them in the back of the truck, bags in the back, pull up 20 yards start spreading them out and they have just gone crazy. We will see them in the next drive we do. There's, there's a lot in there. Um, that is the only one I found that will grow with maize. So we get people that bring the birds in here and they're like cover crop envy. Like how did you get it like this sort of thing. So it's, I mean there's a couple of places on here that's, it will never come good. So that's why I put the artichokes in. So just to boost it. This wind is really making a move, isn't it? Are you an observer? I'm, yes, uh, about two years ago I was supervisor, but now I'm very much in observer capacity, so I'm trying not to give the wrong calls to Ned at all. I'm trying to keep my, uh, keep my lips buttoned up as much as possible. You, you could demote him to just loader, you know. Yeah. No, never gonna happen, never gonna happen. No shoots take place in the 2020-2021 season without a good dose of COVID security, and John reckons he has made today as safe as he can. Hand sanitizer is available, and if you want to check in on your app, it is 
Thanks, sir. Well, we did crimmer a couple of risk assessments from elsewhere. We, on arrival, people were asked to sanitise their hands, hope they had a chance to read the risk assessment. Uh, we also had a QR code for those who wanted to uh, check in there. We're not mixing unnecessarily, and as far as possible, we're keeping to our vehicle parties as well. It's the first time I've done a COVID shoot um, in two weeks' time on my own shoot. We've got to apply all the, the same standards and, uh, and assessments that we've done here. The shoot is safe for guns and for beaters who are all local. I was lucky enough that I grew up with most of them. Uh, when I, because um, I did my apprenticeship for Wheels's and I knew a lot of them from there coming up and, um, and then I've met people on the way and they've, they've kept coming. You know, so that's good, good thing. You know, good, good bunch of beaters, they listen. <laughs> By the end of the day, the shoot has provided sport for all ages and everyone goes home COVID-free with a bag, as hoped, of 138 to 549 shots fired, just under four to one.